Now this is the we have tried in the product of following ester after saponification. So if you will remember a base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester is called saponification. Now so this is base catalyzed hydrolysis. So base catalyzed hydrolysis of ester is called saponification. So you have to write on the product. So this ester, if treated with base OH minus, it will give the hydrolysis product. So you will have so from here. So what will happen? OH minus will attack on this carbon. This opens up, it transmits, this goes. So basically you have to break this bond from here. And this side will get acid, and this side will get alcohol. Are you getting? So I am writing the final product after hydrolysis so if i do this and then do hydrolysis that is if i do add uh, h plus that is a acidic medium so if i add uh, after hydrolysis if i make the medium acidic so let us say make the medium acidic so i am writing the final product after acidification so product i am writing after acidification i think you have written this one So if you write in this case this side will have HCOO minus this side PHO minus but if you make system acidic this becomes HCOOH and this becomes PHOH so it will have one acid plus alcohol so this is one acid you will have another alcohol you will have that is PHOH so this is acid and this is alcohol everybody knows if you do esterification or saponification sorry saponification in that case you get a acid plus alcohol so if acid plus alcohol if you do esterification you will get ester and if you do hydrolysis of ester you will get acid plus alcohol so let us see B part again the same thing so you have to write down the product after acidic hydrolysis and this is the saponification because I am using medium is basic so ETC double bond O here I have and this side I have OET and now what will be the product if I add OH minus and further if I do acidification so acidification is also done so let us say H plus I do so this side you have to break this bond again this side will have acid and this side will have alcohol so you will get ET things are easy CO and you will have OH plus this ETOH you will have alcohol so you are getting one acid and you are getting another is alcohol so acid plus alcohol let us do the C part you have to do yourself this time so this time you have this molecule easy one only thing is molecules look like complex but this has nothing to do so if you do the same reaction OH minus and then you do acidification what will the product now this time ester is basically intramolecular ester you see uh, after uh, dissociation after hydrolysis you will not get two molecules in these cases you are getting two molecules after hydrolysis if you do hydrolysis here you will get only one molecule so let me see how many of you are able to write the product this one yeah you are right basically in this case what will happen this OH minus when it is attack on this car when this opens up returns back this goes so this side will have alcohol and this side will have acid so I have to break along this bond so if I break along this bond so what I will have so if I write the product this side I have a benzene ring and this side I will have COOH COOH and this side I will have OH group attached so you see I am getting only one molecule in these cases you are getting two molecules you are getting acid alcohol it is a separate molecule now this time this part of the molecule is acid and this part of the molecule is alcohol 
So you are getting the same molecule acid plus alcohol in the same molecule. Acid plus alcohol you are getting. So in this case I can write only one molecule I am getting. So you can call this uh, intramolecular acidif esterification, only one molecule. So you can call this as a so reverse reaction. This forms ester. There is a intramolecular esterification, and this side you can call intramolecular saponification. So you can call this as a intramolecular saponification because this is happening in the same molecule. So this is intramolecular. Saponification. I think all of you have copied this one. I can go for the next problem. Same D part. So this stage I have something like this. And then this side I have CO group, CO group this side also. Now again you have to write down the product after hydrolysis and acidification. So I am also doing acidification. So let us write down the product. I think all of you can do this one. So let us take half minute time. So if you do acidification what will the final product? Okay, so what you will do in this case, again the same thing, which minus will attack here, open up, returns back. Now this time this bond will open, so you have to break from here, and then you have to break from here. So you will get this side alcohol, OH, OH, and this side will get acid. Are you getting or not? So you will have this acid. So this side will get acid. So you see what has happened. So when you are doing acidification, you are removing from here one H2O and from here also you are removing one H2O. So when we are doing acidification. So again you are getting alcohol but this contains 2 OH. This contains acid that contains 2, two mole of acid in the same compound. So this is you can say uh, alcohol. And this contains 2 OH group. And this is acid. And this is the dibasic acid. It, is, it also contains 2 COOH group. So let us finish it here. We will discuss the next problem. Quite easy problem. These are the quite easy problem. So something related to hydrolysis of ester. Ester hydrolysis can be done in two medium, acidic as well as basic medium. So we have seen the product in the basic medium is generally salts of carboxylic acid and salt of alcohol. But if I make the medium acidic, salt finally converted into acid plus alcohol. So I am writing the product in these reactions after hydrolysis and after acidification also. So we'll discuss the next problem. I think all of you have copied this one.